We will begin our study of the poem Lycidas by John Milton. Yet once more, O ye laurels, and once more, ye myrtles brown, with ivy never sere, I come to pluck your berries harsh and crude, and with forced fingers rude, shatter your leaves before the mellowing year. Here we see the poet going into the mountains and the forest to pluck the laurels, the brown myrtles, the ivies, in order to use them for the funeral of Lycidas. This poem is a pastoral poem where we see vivid descriptions of the lovely countryside. The poet is telling the flowers that he is coming to pluck their berries even though it is not yet the right season. Their berries are still harsh and crude and unripe, but he is forced to pluck them and shatter their leaves before the mellowing year because of the bitter constraint and sad occasion dear. This sad occasion is actually the death of his friend Edward King. Edward King had died before his time. Actually, John Milton did not want to write small poems and he did not want to write before his poetic powers had come to maturity. He had wanted to write great poems and he did not want to waste his time in writing small poems. But because of the death of Edward King, he is forced to write this poem before his poetic powers would come to maturity. The bitter constraint and sad occasion dear, or the death of Edward King compels him or forces him to disturb the season and to pluck the berries even though they are still harsh and crude. Felicitas is dead, dead ere his prime, young Lycidas, and hath not left his peer. His peer means his equal. The friends of the same age group as himself. Among the friends which Edward King and John Milton would have, there is not one that is as good as Edward King. Edward King is given the pastoral name of Lycidas. John Milton asks, who would not sing for Lycidas? This is a rhetorical question. Who would not sing for Lycidas? Lycidas was such a good person and he was also a good poet. <clears throat> Who would not like to sing and mourn for young Lycidas? Lycidas knew himself to sing and build the lofty rhyme. Lycidas was a poet. He knew how to sing and also to build the lofty rhyme. He was a great poet who could write in the sublime style. He must not float upon his watery bier, unwept and welter to the parching wind, without the meed of some melodious tear. John Milton felt that Edward King must not float upon his watery bier or his watery grave unwept. His body will be weltered or carried to and fro to the parching wind of the sea, but he does not want him to float unwept, uncried. He felt that Edward King should have the mead, M-E-E-D, or the reward of some melodious tear or some wonderful poem written in his honor.